Hi guys, this is Rasha and I welcome you all back to my YouTube channel. It has been quite a lot of time since I last uploaded a video on my channel, but it's very imperative now because the phase two of the MyTax application has started, which is the interview process. So let's recapitulate what has happened till now and what we have to look forward to in the coming weeks. As of 27th September 2022, you would have gotten the notification that the applications have closed on the MyTax GRI portal. And you would have gotten an email, as you can see on the screen, that MyTax is no longer accepting the responses. What they did in the month of October is review all the applications of the students, which the students have submitted on the GRI student platform and see whether they are eligible for the next step. So what my tax did was to uh, prepare an application PDF, which you would have probably downloaded by now, which is a compilation of all the answers that you gave to the questions on their portal. They had mentioned some of the eligibility criteria on their website before, which you already knew of. In my previous videos, I've also stated about the same, and uh, that's how they would uh, move the students to the next round. So as you can see on the screen, this is the recapitulation of the eligibility criteria, which my tax had stated that you'll be at least 18 years of age, be enrolled in a full-time undergraduate or a combined full-time undergraduate or master's program, and have one to three semesters left at the time of the application, meet the grade requirement, which was specific to each country, and apply to a minimum of three to seven projects in three different provinces, and most importantly, be available for a full-time internship for 12 weeks between May to October 31st. The next one was the criteria specific to the country. So as you can see on the screen, I can talk about the criteria for India. You can check for your specific country. So for India, it was necessary that your university or college be affiliated by AICT or SICI. And you have scored about a GP of eight for AICTE and SICI to be of seven GPA. If your application is eligible, you may be invited to proceed with the next steps, that is getting a call for interviews. So they have mentioned a rough timeline about the matching process, which is, as you can see on the screen, that once the students are done with the application process, MyDAX notifies each applicant of their eligibility status by November. So. In the coming weeks, you would be getting an email for the same. And the eligible applicants would be called for an interview by the professors in whose projects they had applied. And all the selected applicants would be notified about their final uh, confirmation of the project by mid-February 2023, right? So that's something we have to look for later. As of now, it's very important that we start preparing for the interviews. So now what we have to look forward to is you would be getting an email and it's going to look something like this. You can see on the screen that after reviewing your application and getting it through the eligibility criteria checks, your application has been considered suitable. Now, either you would get a email notifying you that you have been, your status has been updated to as candidate under consideration if you are eligible, or it has been waitlisted if they want to do some more background checks, or it's unfortunately rejected if you do not meet the eligibility criteria. And also, as the email states, your application, that is the application PDF, which you would have downloaded from the MyTax student portal, is sent to all the host professors in whose project you had applied. So since if you have applied to seven different professors, your application is sent to all of them, and the, then the professor goes through your background, your applications, and if he deems your application suitable, then they prefer an interview with you so that they can proceed further with the application selection. So it's, it's a good time to start preparing for the interviews because in the coming weeks, like, uh, like in the second week or after mid-November, you're going to probably get emails from either the host professor or research assistants or their or professors, undergraduate students. So you should keep checking the emails, the post junk and the spam folder because sometimes the emails get directed to your spam folder, but you should be really alert during this.
the professors might schedule an interview call or they would give you an assessment. The best part is they make sure that you are comfortable up with the time that they have provided. So what they do is in the emails, they usually provide time in their time zone. So you need to convert it into Indian Standard Time just to check whether you would be available during that time or not. But make sure that you keep yourself available during that time because it's difficult for professors to reschedule the interviews. When the emails, you might also be requested to share some of your former uh, like project reports, like they would want to do a skill check, right? They would give you an assessment to check if the skills that you have stated, stated in your resume, like whether you are proficient in that or formal sample work or any report writings which you have done in previous research projects, something like that, to get more background into your application. And the interview, as for the interview, it lasts like any time between 10 minutes to 50 minutes or maybe even one hour. And it's like mainly about, they want to know like about you as a person and what is your work ethic and how, how do you, like how, how do you use your skills to carry out a particular project? So you should be thorough with an introduction of yourself and why did you apply to this particular project? And are you aware of like some of the skills which have been mentioned in the skills section while you were applying for the projects? And where have you formerly worked? And what were the challenges you faced while you were doing that particular project or you were in that internship? And your interest and understanding of the project and which skills of yours align with the project and like how would you be able to contribute to the project? So these are some of the questions which uh, our students usually are asked in interviews. Uh, that's it, I guess, for this video. I would highly recommend that you start preparing for the interviews because and keep checking your emails because you would surely be getting the interview calls like in the upcoming weeks. And in the next video, I'm I'm gonna get the content on how to prepare for interviews. And I and I hope that you like this video and stay tuned and all the best to all of you. Bye.